is located at the Mount Sinai Downtown Union Square facility at 10 Union Square East Suite 3E. There is an abundance of misinformation and old wives tales out there that expecting moms encounter when they're trying to find out about their dietary needs during pregnancy. And I'm here to answer just a few of those questions. Well, the answer is no, it's not too late. It's really important to begin eating healthy once you find out that you are pregnant and it's never too late to begin to change your dietary habits to the better for the, for the health of you and for your baby. The answer is yes, but pregnant women should not consume more than 200 milligrams of caffeine each day because caffeine can increase your blood pressure and it can cause unusual heart rhythms. So energy drinks and energy boosters, as well as too much coffee, should be avoided. Well, I get this a lot from my patients. It's a very common question. Not drinking alcohol during the pregnancy is the safest choice. However, a glass of wine, which means a six to eight ounce glass, or a beer or a toast of champagne a couple of times during the pregnancy should, be, um, not, should not harm your baby, especially if you're not in the first trimester. If you're in the first trimester, then the answer is no. No alcohol is best and you should avoid hard liquor. Well, actually, no, this is not true. It's an old wives tale with absolutely no truth to it. Nuts are a healthy snack and are an excellent source of protein, but consuming them while you're pregnant will not have an impact on whether your baby will have allergies in the future or whether they won't. So you can consume nuts, but it's not gonna impact your baby's allergies. So the goal here is, to, is not to avoid cheese and dairy entirely, but you wanna make sure that the cheese and the dairy that you are consuming is not raw cheese because you will then be increasing the risk of bacteria. So all of your dairy should have been pasteurized. So you wanna avoid such cheeses such as raw goat cheese or um, cheese that has been mold ripened, such as gorgonzola or roquefort, because these then give you that increased risk of bacteria, which may harm your baby. You want to consider hard cheeses, such as um, cheddar cheese or Swiss, and you always want to make sure that you read your food labels to make sure that all of your dairy has been pasteurized. I'd also like to add that you also want to make sure that all of your eggs should be completely cooked before you eat them. Well, the answer is yes, as long as it is not raw or it is not high in mercury. Fish is an excellent fo um, food and which is low in fat and it contains high quality uh, proteins and omega-3 fatty acids, which is very important for your baby's brain development. The problem is Fish that's high in mercury, and most of those are the predator fish, such as shark, swordfish, tilefish, kink, mackerel, things like that, they can interfere with the baby's brain and spinal cord development. However, fish that's low in mercury are safe to consume two to three times a week, and those are fish like salmon, tilapia, flounder. So you can enjoy those as, as much as you want a couple of times a week. That, that eating for two myth is a very common myth that, that I hear a lot. And the reality is you should not be consuming double the portions of every meal and snack that you have each day. Because you actually only need about an additional 350 calories daily during the pregnancy. And that can be easily achieved with by just by adding two or three small healthy snacks like a banana with a couple of tablespoons of um, peanut butter or either three to five wheat crackers with about um, an ounce and a half of um, cheddar cheese cubes. So you, you don't really have to eat a whole lot of extra food while you're pregnant. So don't feel like that you gotta splurge during that time. Well, if you're healthy, 
and you have a low risk pregnancy, then the risk of moderate intensity exercise is safe. And actually consistent exercise during pregnancy can minimize constipation and it can decrease the risk of gestational diabetes and depressed depression. So if you incorporate some aerobic exercise, such as brisk walking two to three times a week for about 20 to 30 minutes each time, uh, or do some flexibility or strength workouts like yoga, that's really pretty much all you need. You don't really need to, to try to train. Just to note that if you have a high-risk pregnancy, then you should probably discuss adding exercise or continuing the exercise that you're doing with your provider to make sure that it's safe for you and your baby. During pregnancy, eating a healthy diet and getting some exercise is essential for the health of your baby and for yourself. And look, the goal here is to enjoy your pregnancy and to have fun with your food. I would like for you to ignore the old wives' tales and the misinformation that's out there. And when you're in doubt, reach out to your obstetrician or either your midwife to get the most accurate and up-to-date information about your pregnancy and your nutritional needs. I hope this has been informative for you. Thank you for your time. Take care.